In this video, we will explore three core technologies, the MetaQuest 2 VR headset, MetaQuest Pro VR headset, and the Horizon Worlds Metaverse. These key products will enable Mark Zuckerberg and Meta to dominate the estimated $5 trillion Metaverse industry by 2030, beating Google, Apple, and Microsoft to the punch. With that said, our wonderful team here at Nanalyze has researched, written, and curated hundreds of in-depth articles on everything from quantum computing to the metaverse. The Nanalyze article Metastock and the Metaverse Thesis was the inspiration for this very video. If you would like to support Nanalyze and support these videos directly, then please click the first link in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. It's very much appreciated. Also, feel free to check out our free newsletter, link below. On October 13th, 2020, Meta released the MetaQuest 2 Virtual Reality, or VR, headset. The headset is designed for everyday consumers looking to enter the world of VR for only $399. The device features an LCD display with a resolution of 1832 by 1920 pixels per eye and has a 90Hz native refresh rate. Quest 2 comes with four front-facing cameras, along with an array of gyroscopes and accelerometers used to track the position of the two touch controllers. Almost two years later, on October 25th, 2022, Meta released the MetaQuest Pro VR headset. With its staggering $1,499 price tag, the device is targeted towards pro consumers and working professionals. The headset features a quantum dot display with a resolution of 1800 by 1920 pixels per eye and has a native 90 Hertz refresh rate. Along with a higher performance processor, Quest 2 includes five internal cameras used for facial tracking and five external cameras monitoring the surroundings. In addition to the onboard accelerometers and gyroscopes, the two Touch Pro controllers have their own dedicated sensors for accurate position monitoring. An estimated 15 million MetaQuest 2 and Quest Pro headsets have been sold worldwide as of 2023. Competing VR headsets include the Sony PlayStation VR, which has sold 5 million units, the HTC Vive, which has sold 600,000 units, and the Microsoft HoloLens, which has sold 300,000 units. Meta has successfully captured 90% of the $6.9 billion virtual reality headset market, which has provided them with a competitive data advantage. Selling more units than competitors does result in higher revenue for the company, but there is also something extraordinary occurring that many people often overlook. If we step back and view Meta's business model in its entirety, we observe an advertising company which is leveraging 2.96 billion Facebook users, 2 billion WhatsApp users, and 1 billion Instagram users. Meta gathers 4 petabytes, or roughly 4 million gigabytes, of user data per day from these social platforms. This data is used to train Meta's advert targeting algorithms, making them more effective over time. The more data you have, the more accurate your product. Here is a similar example from the electric vehicle manufacturer, Tesla. The more vehicles they sell, outfitted with computer vision hardware and full self-driving software, the more driving data they collect. This refines the entire fleet's autonomous driving capabilities. Unlike other VR companies, Meta is capturing user data from 15 million Quest VR headsets. This allows Meta to improve their existing VR products and virtual environments more rapidly and accurately than the competition. On December 9th, 2021, Meta released the Horizon Worlds Virtual Reality Metaverse. This metaverse comprises of 10,000 virtual worlds, which users can interact with using customizable avatars. Users can partake in a variety of activities in Horizon Worlds, such as gaming, fitness, entertainment, and socializing. Even though Horizon Worlds was launched during peak euphoria of the cryptocurrency, NFTs, and Web 3.0 hype cycle, the market penetration was relatively low. According to internal documents sourced by the Wall Street Journal, Meta initially set a goal of reaching 500,000 monthly active users in Horizon Worlds. 
In reality, there were only 200,000 monthly active users. This could be due to the general public's loss of interest in the metaverse, evidenced by this Google Trends chart. When people think of the term metaverse, they envisage a world of unparalleled creativity, vast futuristic urban sprawls, densely populated with high fidelity avatars, exhilarating street racing, featuring vehicles entrenched in popular culture, and a bustling secondary market where users can sell their metaverse masterpieces. Horizon Worlds is a far cry from the fictional Ready Player One Oasis metaverse, and this is made abundantly evident by the inferior graphics and lackluster gameplay. Modern video games such as Counter-Strike have over 1 million monthly active users, PUBG Battlegrounds has over 400,000 monthly active users, and Apex Legends has 370,000 monthly active users. Higher-end graphics and enjoyable gameplay allow these games to eclipse the level of excitement you could ever experience in Horizon Worlds, resulting in a greater number of monthly active players. It's not a direct comparison, as these are video games, not metaverses. However, they may indirectly divert users away from Horizon Worlds. Unlike video games, metaverses are more open and social. They operate in real time and are not confined to a single narrative. Although, you could argue, modern computer games act like metaverses because of multiplayer gameplay and dynamic narratives. Grand Theft Auto V, released in 2013, is an excellent example of a metaverse-like game. A more appropriate comparison could be VRChat, launched in 2014 with 81,000 monthly active users. Meta drives innovation by meticulously examining their user data when they provide both the physical hardware to interface with the metaverse, i.e. the Quest VR headsets, and the virtual environment itself, they can gather substantial quantities of user data. In Meta's terms of service, they state, your device will record through a rolling buffer processed locally on device, your and other users' most recent audio, video, and other interactions in these products. This audio data from this rolling buffer is not stored on our servers unless a report is submitted. However, other data, including data collected through platform services and integrations about your experience, may be stored on our servers. Originally, Meta's greatest metaverse threat would have been the development of a competing metaverse by other technology behemoths, such as Google and Microsoft. This all changed on November 30th, 2022, when the artificial intelligence firm OpenAI released their revolutionary new ChatGPT product to the public. Soon after its release, Google executives declared ChatGPT a code red threat to their projected $70 billion per year search advertising business. On January 23rd, 2023, Microsoft confirmed a $10 billion multi-year investment in OpenAI to leverage ChatGPT for the Bing search engine. This is a fascinating development that we will explore in a future video. However, this also presents big tech with the ultimate distraction. Microsoft and Google have a combined $244 billion of cash, which will enable them to pursue the metaverse on the side, whereas Meta has made pursuing the metaverse their core objective. Apple could certainly pose a threat to Meta. However, due to Meta's data advantage, it's unlikely they would catch up. Horizon Worlds may not look like the metaverse we were all promised in books and films. However, with a continuous supply of user data, the world's most talented individuals, $10 billion of annual investment, and the unwavering dedication of top-level management, Meta may just achieve the metaverse we're all hoping for. With Meta's stock down 52% over the past 12 months, and the market capitalization under $300 billion as of writing this video, Meta could be the best risk-adjusted metaverse opportunity in the stock market. If you would like to support and analyze and gain access to hundreds of premium articles, then please click the first link in the description box below. Also check out our free newsletter linked below. Thank you so much for your support and feel free to click the video on screen now as it contains an exceedingly powerful message which will assist you on your investing journey.